Here's an example of the Genesis Magazine theme. Um, this one actually needs some more content in here to fix the size of these particular items. Um, but um, it has some sidebar action going on. It has a rotator. This image is actually not big enough. But let's go in and look at how this is set up. In the widgets area, in the header right, there's a text field which has an AWeber login. It's this one. The primary sidebar has got a search tab, some recent posts. This is one of the uh, widgets you can use. It has text with some HTML content that calls in a clickable uh, link and image. And it has an RSS feed. I'm not using the secondary sidebar. Um, so that's in the home top. Um, I'm sorry. In the home top, we've got the slider. And as it says here, we go to the slider setup settings to work with that. We'll look at that in a moment. And then in the home left, I've added featured posts, two different ones, one from a services category. And I'm showing only one post in this one. Uh, this kind of setup information is completely configurable and you can set it the way you want after you get it in place anyway. Um, we've shown the post title, limiting the content to 120 characters. Um, change the spelling here while we're at it. We'll save that. Um, the home right, this one is the same, um, that's in the left hand side, those are featured businesses, but let's read more, and um, featured services, but let's read more. This one has the same thing with featured medicine. Selected the medicine category and these are all completely configurable on your own. Set up the same way. And um, on the home bottom I have used the featured posts. I'm showing all categories. Showing three of them. Again, this is set up pretty much the same way as the uh, examples. I'm not using the after post add or the after content add areas, nor am I using any of the footies. If you drop something in here, these elements will suddenly appear. So anyhow, that's how you set the thing up inside, and then after that you can go nuts. If you have pages you want to feature, you can replace these with a featured page. There it is, post, and you're good to go. Well, let's look at the posts. This is the one that's on the top of our channel. It has a video that's been embedded in it. It has an article that's been curated. Um, it has an image that I've shot from the uh, video and uploaded as a featured image. That image also is, of course, in the media box right there. So when you add your featured image and you've specified in your widgets to show this image it shows up. 
Now there's one thing I haven't showed you right here is that um, one of the plugins that you might want to look at if you want to get fancy with this is uh, Genesis Simple Sidebars. This gives you a real easy way to complete control over um, adding sidebars and um, the way you add a new sidebar is simply to go into the plugin area, give it a name that you'll recognize, give it an ID that's unique with no spaces, and add the sidebar. Then when you go back into your posts, um, you have the ability now to pick from either of the sidebars that's available. There's nothing in it right now. You get to those sidebars through your widgets. There's your new sidebar right there, ready to have text object or an RSS feed or whatever you want to have loaded into it and then you can just specify it on any page you want it to appear.